Let me dig in the bag of the reefer It is that time. What is up and what is good YouTube, the World Wide Web. As you guys can see, the full life high definition, it is the thrift god live in the trenches. And I have found some flame, so of course I got the camera on me and I have to start recording. The first piece is that FC Dallas authentic MLS Adidas heater with the stripes looking like a peppermint shtick. And then check it out, man. I was browsing through the swimsuit section. And you know, you got some subtle vintage, but peep game. It's the Tommy for your mommy. Not only that, but when you flip and dip on that booty cheek, you got the Hill Figure Sailing Team plastic patch with the Tommy flag pull tab. Bruh, that's a definite cop. Five bucks, six bucks. I give no fucks. I'm getting everything. Already, Freddy. See, there's a negative side about the springtime is there are no jackets in the Houston Thrifts, but they got the Aquaberry swim trunks for four bucks on the rack. And also for three dollars, I guess they didn't notice that little polo man right there on the thigh. You got the string bean, pond scum color scheme. Mother freaking Ralph though. Getting both of these, baby. Oh, and there it is to complete the fit. You got the Tommy for your mommy, Hawaiian boy stees, thing looking like a tequila sunrise. Boy, that is a dope Tommy Hawaiian button up. Then they got the two Bape robes. Yo, I also picked up this really cool Roper Western button up. Got the beautiful blue sky, got that mud. I get it out the mud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the majestic bound to Kanye West horses. Of course, six bucks. Getting it. Oh my god. Then we got the mother freaking vintage snapback attack. You got the crawfish open. You got about four of these same snaps, all of them with really good shape. They got the stars and stripes all over them. So, yeah, baby, some nice little American flag flame. Oh, then they got the lime green steez. The KDs for Ken too. I wonder how much they want for these. Seven bucks, baby. If your size uh six and a half Y come through. Oh Lord. Then check it out, man. La tienda se va a cerrar en diez minutos. The stores are closed in ten minutes. What are they, Holmes? Diez minutos. They got the Michael Vick number seven Atlanta Falcons jersey. This is a youth XL, but it fits like an adult small. Got a small little smudge stain right there, but for six bucks, I gotta grab it. Mike Vick was a legend back in the day, bro. Like I used to be on Game Boy, and Mike Vick would be my quarterback just running down the fucking field, son. Man. Yo, they got the babe though. The pink camo shorts. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? These are dead stock, but they want 13 bucks for them. Tripping. These are pretty fucking fire. If they were cheaper in my size, I would definitely get these, but the waist is 35, and I am one skinny motherfucker. Harlem is not what I'm repping. Oh, they got that fire flame, the Michael Hordanti. Seven bucks, though. Tripping. Uh-oh, got a cold flame, baby. Young uh, Black Scale again in the thrift. Only two bucks. What is good with it? All right, the store is momentarily closing, but two last little gems. They got the really dope staple goods jersey, and of course they got the Yao Ming, but they are charging 10 bucks for that bad boy. Tripping. And it's as simple as that. Leaving this store, got a bunch of items, spent 41 bucks, but got some cool ass shit. So now let's go ahead and proceed somewhere else. All right, ladies and germs, I told you guys that I will continue this another day. Wow, that card is really loud. And I am in another store right now, another family thrift. It is a Sunday and I found a bunch of that NFL fire. I got the Terry Glenn New England Patriots vintage jersey right here. This is a starter piece of fire. And I honestly like these old school jerseys a lot more than the new ones with the italicized font. And you got the number 11 Drew Bledsoe. Now I know both of these players because wow because they both ended their careers with the dallas cowboys and then i found their arch nemesis snapback right here the miami dolphins little youth and co hat so that definitely is dope and then also in the short section i found some nautica flamers you know looking like a little checkerboard and then i saw the low-key grails the Ken Griffey Jr. Nike exclusives. Now, really fuck with these heavily because they just look so ill. They're in the black and like aqua color scheme with the carbon fiber, very clean. And these actually have no price 
written on them whatsoever. So I don't know if someone just swapped out their shoes for another pair or if they just forgot to price them, but I'm very curious to see what they are taxing and asking for these. Cause honestly, these match the Magic Johnson fit your boy got on body right now. So I definitely fuck with these shoes. Like four or five great finds already, Freddy. We back in it to win it, boy. Oh, that young Drizzy Drake six god by the mountain. Hoot hoot. Already, boy. Then we got another fire find from hell. It came the twins of evil. Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson with the skulls. You know, the little pentagram. Then on the back are their faces. There's just a dope little tour tee. Splash some bleach on that ass. If she bleach my asshole. No, I'm just kidding. But if you splash some bleach on this, it'll definitely look really fucking sick. Oh, Lord. It is that time, boys and girls. So just chilling on the shelf. Check out what I saw. The Jordan 10s, young girl sizes, Tiffany's with the 23 all embroidered. The jump man is crispy. The interior tag is flawless. These are absolutely crazy. And what I love about the Jordan 10s is it has all the little stats right on the soles of the shoe. So that definitely is sick with the offsetting red jump man. These are in very clean condition. I might actually make a custom with these, but again, like the King Griffey Juniors, they did not write a price tag on these shoes. So I don't know what they're doing. Wait, hold up. What's the price? Prices, prices going up. Woo. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, honestly, without pricing the shoes. They might not be able to sell them to me, but hopefully they are able to do so because these are some flagrant flamers, bruh. Whew. All right, man, so before I dip out, I saw a couple more Jersey gems. They got the Digi Camo St. Louis Blues. They got another St. Louis piece, that Kurt Warner vintage little logo athletic joint right there. 13 bucks, seven bucks for the first one. The all embroidered Tony Romo, more crispy than a damn Frisbee. And then I am most likely gonna get this, the Florida Gators. We chop in the competition, number 96. This is only seven bucks and I got 30% off today. So probably gonna grab that one. This Digi Camo one is really sick, but I think the color scheme is just like a little bit too like ratchet. OMG, what do she have on? She ratchet! Y'all see what they got chilling back there? My zoom is terrible, but right here are the Gamma 11s. What? I gotta check those out. There also is a Women's USA Nike soccer jersey right there. So uh, gonna check both them pieces out before I skirt skirt out the store. So chilling are the gammas behind the counter. The carbon fiber actually does feel legit on them. They're asking $120, kind of tax, slight booty crack right there. So y'all let me know if I'm low-key uh, slipping on these, but I don't know, they want 120, they're pretty beat up. That's crazy though that they're in here. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Ha, psych, thanks for nothing. So I'm leaving the store, man, and low-key I am very disappointed in them. That's why I say thanks for absolutely nothing, Thrift Center today, because one, they sold me no pairs of shoes, they said there's no price on them so we can't sell them, which is exactly what I predicted. However, it just sucks balls because the lady was looking at me as if I erased the price tags on both shoes. And I'm like, ma'am, they never had the price on them whatsoever in the first place. So I'm leaving the store with a very meager yet humble bag of some slight swag, which is disappointing as hell. And I honestly didn't know if the gammas were legit or not. I mean, they looked decently legit. I feel like the silhouette was a little off and the jump man definitely had like a slight booty crack, but that's not always an indicator that they're fake. The fact is they were dirty as hell and they were asking $120, which was taxed. And they also hoed me by not selling me the other shoes. So I definitely wasn't about to make that purchase right then and there. But um, that's how it goes sometimes in the thrifts. But yeah, man, fuck that family thrift, baby. Boy, angry boy. Oh my God. So YouTube, we are back in the humble thrift cove and abode without the Jordans. It is the saddest shit I've ever been through in my life. But for real guys, we're back in the crib right now. Without further ado, I'm gonna show y'all all the items I picked up in today's trip to the thrift. And yes, you win some and you lose some. Unfortunately, 
I lost the Jays today, which sucked because they were definitely the most sick items I found in the second thrift. And with that being said, man, usually I do get prices on items without the prices. That's why I was really frustrated. But this time I came up to the counter like a little showboating dumbass fucking recording the Jays because I had to capture those gammas for y'all, even though I think they're probably fucking fake. But I was recording and commentating. The lady looked at me like, bitch. Not in my store. Not today, can to. So that pretty much just ripped apart any rapport that I could have possibly built with her to get a price. Because usually I just befriend the cashiers, the cashieristses, and then they give me prices. But it is what it is. So at the first store, you guys already know, I had to get the red, white, and blue American flag flamers, the crawfish open little golf tournament hats. I most likely am going to keep one to go with my vintage Shaquille O'Neal champion dream team jersey. That definitely is a sick little, putting it on the wrong way, a sick little piece to matchy match with. But the other ones are going to be for sale, as are pretty much all these items on hfv.bigcartel.com. That's my vintage website, so check it out if you guys want some steals on some old school clothing. Now, of course, the summer season is quickly approaching, so I had to get the Tommy for your mommy swim trunks. That was a no-brainer. I also grabbed the FC Dallas jersey as well, a very, very clean and sick piece. I just love the colors on it, and it is an Adidas heater, boy. Name brand as fuck. And then the other items that I got were, of course, the Roper Western shirt. I mainly got this for myself. Anytime I throw up these Western pearl snaps, a lot of times you guys don't really buy them. But it's probably because, one, I have this crazy-ass sense that I am a cowboy in the back of my head. And two, y'all might not know how to rock and shock them, but I'll probably make a video in the fall time with Hit Billy Cantu showing you guys how you can actually style those. Now, this piece was definitely sick, man. Shout out Mike Vick one time. I know he got into it for the dog fighting, which I am very strongly against, but he actually uh, became an advocate for dogs after that, so he kind of made a recovery. But that's neither here nor there. I don't care if you like him or dislike him. He was a beast on Madden 2004, and that's a straight up fact. Having this fool in your backfield is like having a cheat code to the game. On PS2, that fool was killing it, and on Game Boy, that fool was killing it. So shout out Mike Vick one time, man. A lot of you new little younger kids don't even know about Mike Vick like that. Anyways, man, I also got that black scale shirt right here. Some clean classic streetwear in the thrift around. I had to grab another streetwear piece, which is this nice little staple tank top. It's a youth size medium, but honestly, it looks like an adult small. So I'll probably throw that up on the side too. And then some more swim trunks. I got, of course, the Ralph Lauren Green Essentials. Very clean, very classic, and they're subtle ass Ralph pieces. Timeless as hell. And then the last pair of trunks I got are, of course, the uh, Thrift Raft exclusive, the Aquaberry Aquarius swim trunks right there with the crazy 90s print all over them. I love old school swim trunks. They should on the new ones hands down they just have those loud dope designs that are perfect for the spring and summertime now getting into the items I got at the last store I actually do have a thrift or regret and that's passing the Tony Romo jersey just because I thought this fool would hop out of retirement real quick like I was like man this guy is not staying with CBS he gotta hop out of retirement so I don't want to buy a Cowboys jersey if he went and played for another team but it seems like the retirement is pretty damn permanent so the other items I got are, of course, in the NFL scheme. I got the nice little Terry Glenn jersey. I honestly just love this jersey. I hate the Patriots, but I might fuck around and rock and shock this jersey just because it looks so dope. And I know some of you guys might be like, man, but if you don't like the team, why do you wear the jersey? Because it looks sick, man. That's fucking why. If some shit looks dope, I'll fucking wear it. You got the Drew Blesso jersey right there. I just love the italicized fonts. This one I might throw up for sale. It depends on how they look on body, man. If they look too big, then I'm going to fucking sell them bitches. And then I also had to get the Rob Zombie Marilyn Manson little collab band tee. I am going to acid wash this tutorial coming soon because I promise you guys I would drop one of those a long time ago and never got around to it. Last but not least, Nautica Swim Trunks as well. That nice uh, chess moves, not checkers, baby, design. And then I also got, of course, the Flair to State um, 1996, just 96 jersey right there. Very clean, very crispy. That was 30% off $7, so it was very fucking cheap. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all be going ham, leaving some weird ass comments. So shout out to everyone who leaves the fucking comments just saying the most random ass shit. But I'll catch y'all very soon. Live the dream, eat vegan ice cream. I am gone. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to